hey guys i'm going to show you how to go from this to this all at home do it yourself if you guys are new here my name is tamara gabriella welcome welcome if you are new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how i do my gel nails on my toes at home so the first thing we have to do is we have to remove the gel polish i had these on for about I think we're going on for three months so they definitely have to come off and we have to get ready for our new nails so there are two ways that you can remove gel polish at home so the first way is you can use the soak off method which is using the hundred percent acetone you want to make sure that it's a hundred percent because this is going to be the most potentest way to get the gel polish off so you're gonna dip that in a cotton pad and then you're going to tightly seal each of your toes with foil paper. You want to make sure that it's tight. You're going to soak this for about 30 minutes to maybe 45 minutes. It just depends really on how thick the gel product is on your feet. So as you guys can see, I had these gel polish on for a very long time. So for me, I would have to soak for a really, really long time. Um, if you guys are going to use this method, you have a lot of time on your hand, you're going to soak, then periodically you're going to remove the foil and then you're going to pry the polish off. But if you guys don't have a lot of time and you're into doing everything quick, you're going to choose the second method, which is breaking the seal of the gel polish off and you're going to use a 150 grit sanding band. You're going to get your nail grit grill drill <laughs> grill you're going to get your nail drill and you're going to pop it on on to this little bit here i got all these products from amazon it's going to be linked down in the description box you guys can find all of these everything is very affordable this is the brand that i'm using this is very be beginner friendly so if you guys don't know nothing about like drilling and and all of that this is definitely going to be the drill for you guys i was once a beginner before and i was those type of people i thought that i would never be able to actually sit down and polish my nails and have it come out looking like okay but right now i feel like i've mastered it to a point like i'm not an expert but i'm getting the job done and i don't have to spend like what 50 60 dollars to get my gel polish so this is amazing um, yeah, so as you guys can see, we're now removing the gel polish. We're breaking that seal because the soak off method, it was taking too long. A next thing that you guys can do is you can soak for a bit. And then you can just take it off and just file like I'm doing. Or you can break the seal first with the sanding band and then you can soak. So you can choose which one you want to do. As you guys can see, we almost got about 85% off. Um, we don't want to go too hard on the sanding band, so you're going to grab your hand file and you're just going to file, file, file until you remove all the excess on. As you guys can see, the drill really did a good job. I love those um, sanding bands. I got those. Those are the only set that I didn't get from Amazon. I got that whole pack off of Shein. And if you guys are interested, or if not, I'll just link the product down in the description box so we're just gonna file off each toe individually we want to make sure we get all product off as you guys can see i am using the 100 by 180 hand hand file that worked pretty good with removing all the remaining product off if you guys are enjoying this video so far don't forget to like comment share this video to anybody you think that it would be beneficial to yeah so we're just continue to remove off we're almost about 50 percent done because to me honestly right now this is the hardest part part just removing the gel polish as you guys can see almost there just got a few more finishing touches to move and bam we're done so what we're going to do is we're going to shape our nail if you guys don't want your nails to be too long you're going to clip it down if you don't want to use the clipper, you can definitely just use a hand file and file it down. If you guys are experts, you can definitely use the electric drill to take your nails down. It's definitely up to you. I prefer the nail clipper and then I'm just going to go in with my hand file and just shape 
the nail to how I want it to look. Shaping is always a struggle for me, but in this particular video, I felt like I did pretty good when it came to the shaping. This was the final product on the shaping. Could have been a bit more better, but anywho, we're just going to be removing all that excess dust from the nail because we don't want the excess dust to interfere with when we start to put on our base and our polish. So you want to make sure you clean that up, brush that up, and then you're going to, you can um take some soap and water you can scrub it off after you've already removed all the dust just to make sure that you guys are working on a clean clean base when it comes to polishing which is a very important part the next thing i'm doing is i'm going in with my cuticle remover i love this stuff you just put it on to your cuticles you leave it on for about 30 seconds to a minute and then all the cuticles just start to pop out you're going to use your cuticle remover tool and then you can push back the cuticles and then you'll see a lot of gunk or if you don't have a lot of gunk you're not going to see it but yeah if you do you're going to remove the gunk with the cuticle remover tool and then we are going to buff and we're buffing because we want the base of our nail to be smooth so that when we put the polish on we don't have a lot of clumps and we just have a smooth polish feel and also it is smooth when the finished product comes on like yeah we don't want to have any bumps or anything along the way on the nails as you guys can see i am using the dehydrator it's definitely optional yeah you don't really have to use it only if you were actually putting the nails on like the actual gel artificial nails you would need a dehydrator but i just used it and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting on the base gel. I am using this product by Beatles. I love it. This is high quality at affordable price. So the base gel is very, very important. I put this on all my toes and then I'm going to cure this for about 120 seconds. This is going to help for the polish to stay when we put the gel polish on. So as you guys can see, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. My polishing skills have came a very very long way honestly I never thought that I would get at this point to like just you know polish my nails without a lot of messes this is the color that we're using this is so pretty this is giving Christmas honestly because low-key I do think these nails may stay on until Christmas gel polish let me know in the comments do you guys get gel polish you know how long it lasts like gel polish really lasts a very long time that's why me and gel polish we we go together real good and this brand definitely a brand you can purchase on amazon as well this is very very affordable and very comparable to the beatles because as you guys know if you didn't know beatles is a very very good brand like all of their products it's giving high quality so as you guys can see i'm just going to put that pretty red color on once i was done with that we're gonna clean it up for a bit you don't you, know, you don't want any messes any spills clean it up before you cure because if you cure with the mess it's going to be really hard to take off after this gel polish has dried um once i've already cleaned that up i am going to cure this for 120 seconds and then i usually would do a second coat but this polish was so pigmented i definitely didn't even have to do a second coat so i love that for me because second coats it takes a lot of time if you guys have made it this far in the video i want to thank you thank you so much for watching it thank you guys for supporting this channel don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms i'm on instagram tiktok and on facebook i post daily or every other day at this point but on youtube i'm trying to be consistent as possible so i'll see you guys in my next video bye